guys can put your hands together for Sabrina as she's going to come to the front. And she also has a testimony from last Sunday um, with a guest speaker who was praying for healing. So can you begin to tell us um, what was the problem that you were having um, with your body? I had a scoliosis and my back, my lower back would hurt a lot. Um, what would that bring into your life and how that affected your life? Um, it affected my, um, my legs. I had uh, my left leg uh, longer, my right leg is longer than my left leg. And how did that affect your life? I would have a lot of pain um, on my lower back. Um, it kind of became normal for me. It was a way of life. That's how I was. I didn't let it define who I was, um, even though I had scoliosis. Scoliosis is um, when your spine is curved and kind of crooked. And um, how did doctors begin to treat you, or what did they say when you went to a doctor? I didn't know I had scoliosis um, on, on paper, medical paper. I um, had a car accident maybe 15 years ago um, with severe whiplash. Uh, after having um, x-rays done, I had, uh, was diagnosed with scoliosis. And how did you begin to receive your healing? Um, well, I came um, last Sunday and um, came to the front and I knew I had scoliosis and I knew I had one leg longer than the other and I explained my problem um, to the minister with um, power of healing and I explained that my pain was worse after I had my epidural last year when I had my son. Um, my pain just became horrible. I mean, if I would stand for long periods of time, um, it was just really bad pain. Going to bed was horrible, tossing and turning at night. Not comfortable at all. And so when he began to pray for you after you explained what was wrong with you, what began to happen to your body? How did you begin to feel? Um, it was, I felt normal. And then he told me to sit down. And I was expecting my calf to feel weird and because I knew my leg was going to grow. I was about a half an inch shorter uh, than my right leg. And he prayed for me and I started feeling it up here, my upper leg, and it felt if it was weird. <laughs> How did it feel? Can you kind of describe the feeling? It's undescribable, but I can just, my muscle was moving inside and it, it was not a tingle. It was a movement, like growth. It was growth. And how did you begin to feel afterwards when he was done praying for you? Um, he, he said later, um, God's power is going to work throughout the day. So just, you know, uh, be aware of that. Um, for like day and a half or two, um, it felt a little sore, but not the, the bad kind of sore, the good kind of sore after you work out kind of sore. And um, it, it, it felt, it was weird when I left because I made myself normal. Um, I, I, I didn't think I had a problem. I knew I had the problem, but I didn't, def I didn't let it define who I was. So it was weird leaving being normal because I wasn't used to being normal because I was normal before. So, but now it was normal to the other normal people. And so <laughs> it's kind of complicated, but um, um, when I got medically diagnosed 15 years ago because of that car accident, um, my chiropractor, he's now retired, he told me, you're going to wear tennis shoes the rest of your life. You know, get your, you know, your right, left, right shoe, just put it on, left shoe, um, Dr. Scholl's gel pad, stick it in there, you're going to be good. I don't want to wear tennis shoes the rest of my life, so I would wear heels. I, I didn't let it define me, like I said, I wear whatever I wanted, and I worked through my half-inch problem, because it was only half an inch. It, it, it was, I'm five foot three, half an inch wasn't a problem for me. So I continued life. How do you feel today? How has it been? Because it's been a week. I'm still in disbelief. Um, <laughs> Because I'm, and like two times a day, I'm like, okay, I sit down against the wall and I ask my husband or somebody there, can you measure me? <laughs> measure my legs, please. And, and so, uh, but I'm, I'm blessed, I'm happy, and I'm, I'm just happy. 
you told me that you went home and you began to work on that leg to make it painful. What happened? Um, I'm still in the process of moving into our new house. And um, if I would stand for long periods of time, especially after the epidural, I would feel um, pain on my lower back. So I would aggravate it. And I was doing anything possible to, to kind of work against it to see if this was real, because I couldn't believe it was happening. Um, and nothing would, the only pain I would feel is me aggravating it because I would kept like tapping it and I kept hitting it and nothing would happen. I had no pain. And yeah, I would sit against the wall and check if one leg was longer than the other. So, so you're, you still have the same two length of your, your legs. How is your back? It is good. And I still have the length. No, I don't, I don't have Let's pain. put our hands together for Jesus Christ. Um, you told me that this was not your first supernatural healing that you have had in your life. One of them you had um, 15 years ago when you went to Mexico and you attended this crusade where there was this minister who had a healing, um, healing ministry. Um, can you begin to help him? What happened to you there? Yeah, um, I was around 16 years old and um, uh, the man of God said, hey, um, can everybody um, that has uh, feelings in their teeth come up, please? And, well, I said, I have, I have three, I'll go up. Um, so he would pray individually, kind of the same way this uh, gentleman did the past Sunday. And throughout that um, prayer, my, uh, he mentioned uh, platinum and gold belongs to God in your body. If you have any artificial metal, that was going to turn into gold um, or the fillings. Um, it, it wasn't a flamboyant gold. Um, it, it was, it, it's beautiful, it's, it's a diluted gold, a subtle gold, um, and my teeth, my three uh, fillings turned to gold. Um, fast forward um, 10 years from that, from, from then, uh, to, to, to five years ago, went to the dentist for my regular routine and he said, um, cosmetic purposes, do you wanna, you know, I'm already giving you another filling, do you want me to, take those out and you know, do them all white. I declined for those three uh, fillings and he asked me where I got my fillings. And I told him, if I told you, you wouldn't believe me. <laughs> I declined the fillings and um, in that same crusade, um, my uncle had the same healing that I did this past Sunday. Um, but I didn't know that I had scoliosis. So 15 years, ago, 15 years ago in that crusade, fast forward to six months, we had a car accident. Um, and that's when I was diagnosed with scoliosis. Um, and so I felt like I missed my opportunity with that man of God to get that healing. Um, and so comes um, Sunday. What is your advice now that you received your supernatural healing? Um, what do you wanna tell people when it comes to healings? Well, first of all, um, I, I was sitting back over there with my kid, because um, he's always crying, as you guys know. Um, but I almost didn't come up because I thought, oh man, that's weird, you know, or I'm uncomfortable, or I'm really not gonna have that healing. So I'm like, you know what, I am gonna have that he healing. Junior, here, hold the kid, I'll be right back. And so, I came up and I had my healing and um, people that, it's a good thing to not let it define you, any sicknesses, any disabilities. It's a great thing to not let it define you. But I'm having a hard time accepting my healing, but that's because I was, it let it, it was, I'm still at that point where like, is it normal, is it not? I'm coming back to normal, but I thought it was normal, but, don't let it define who you are when you get your healing. So I'm healed, and now I am normal. Oh, amen. Amen. Let's put our hands together for Jesus Christ. You can go sit down.